That was a clip from Neil Brennan Blogs, which is streaming right now on Netflix. Congratulations Thank on you, the special. It's one of my favourite things I've watched this year. It's so good. Thank you. It's so brilliant. Uh, as is Three Mics, your last special. And this one it feels like it's a real uh, uh, evolution from that. Um, tell us all about it. Tell us about where it came from. It's basically like about my. F I feel like kind of isolated in a lot of situations. Like I'm not married. I don't have kids. I'm in my late 40s. People don't like it. Um, <laughs> And I just talk about how I've tried a bunch of different stuff. Like I've dated by age and job and race. And I dated a model. Thank you. Um, <laughs> guys, dating a model is like owning a dune buggy. <laughs> and, and dating a model is like owning a dune buggy because at the beach, it's great. But everywhere else, you're like, I shouldn't have brought you here. <laughs> no. So it's just a lot of that and expressing like joke opinions but or joke things but also how I actually feel about the stuff. It would be like if Rodney Dangerfield did like I get no respect and then he told you how bad he felt about not getting respect. <laughs> I mean, it is it's very raw. You're very open in the whole thing. I mean when you release a new special on Netflix, do, do you ever get caught up with how many, do you ever get told how many viewers are watching it? How many people are watching it? Is that something that I matters do, to you? I do, but you kind of can't pay attention. People, like older people would always bring up TV ratings as like proof that America was better or something. Where they'd be like, 50 million people would watch Seinfeld or All in the Family. The reason 50 million people watched All in the Family is because there was nothing else to do. <laughs> you can either watch All in the Family or go stand in the yard. There was yeah. nothing. <laughs> Like, America used to be so boring and so disorganized, you could murder. You could murder so easily. I do often think that, how easy it must have been to murder people. All you had to do oh. was just not leave a fingerprint, and you could murder three or four nights a week. Done. Yeah, it's true. No CCTV. There was, no, there was no way to catch you. Here's how easy it was to murder. Murderers used to write letters to the newspaper for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely right. Yeah, no, you're like, never dear, me. dear paper, it's me, the murderer. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Here's a little clue. Things are getting boring over here, so here's a clue. What has four legs and loves dinner? A table. See you the next murder. <laughs> <laughs> and then, this year, big year, this year, the 20th anniversary of Scooby Doo. Oh, wow. And it was recently revealed, please move it, <laughs> recently revealed that your character, Velma, is gay. Right. What did you think when you heard this news? Well, they've been hinting around at that mm, forever. I mean, I remember when I was in it 20 years ago, I guess that sounds like so long ago, but that they were saying, you know, there were parts in the movie and then those sort of got weeded out. But yeah, that was so I think it's been hinted around for long enough. I'm happy it's out there. It's out there. Yeah, She's out there. Good, good, good luck her. to you, Velma. Yeah, right love behind me, Velma. you, Velma. Love you. <laughs> Neil. I want to talk to you about this. You've become obsessed yes. with an app called Wanda AI, which uses artificial intelligence to create photos. And you've sent us some photos. Yeah. All right, so what am I looking this. at here? So if you type in prompts, it, it does it, uh, artificial intelligence just generates images based on whatever you type in. It doesn't know what you are. I typed in Neil Brennan NASCAR, and this is what it gave me. Is that supposed to be you? Yes. That's, <laughs> that's, that's me. supposed to be me. Ow. That's what all of the aggregate photos of me on the internet wow. have led a computer to believe I look like. <laughs> I'm going to sue them. Um, so then yeah. you typed in. Then I typed in J Neil Brennan, James Corden riding horses. And this is what it this got. This is insane. Look at that. <laughs> Two of one. That actually looks like Amish John Travolta up top. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, and then you're, you're riding a horse, and then a horse is riding you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm trying to stop the whole thing. And I'm going, give it a minute. Um, <laughs> and then you typed in. Then I typed in. Oh, no. Right oh, right no. Linda Cardellini, James Corden, uh, television show. And look at us in some kind of cop procedure. Wow. Look. Wow. I kind of love it. It's amazing. Yeah, I think this would be called uh, CSI, we're scarier looking than the criminals. <laughs> I mean, it actually looks like we're in Scooby-Doo and we're yep. going to pull those yeah, masks yeah, off exactly, and exactly. would have got away with it if it wasn't for those pesky right. kids. What is with your finger? CSI, what's happening with my finger? Yeah. yeah. How about that? 
Would Ouch. CBS go oh. for this, you think, Nick? <laughs> if we got it sponsored? Yeah, yeah, that's a, this, this, yeah, this, this has tundra. Toyota Tundra written all over Toyota it. Toyota yeah. Tundra, go for this, I'm certain. Please think out wonderful guests. Linda Cardellini, Neil Brennan, stick around. Gianmarco Soresi is here when we come back.